Everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the long range Ethernet repeater by Ubiquity. This repeater could go up to a kilometer if you're using a CAT6 cable. We would use this anywhere we don't want to run a fiber optic cable and we need to get, say, a camera or an access point up and running. If you're new here, please hit the subscribe button. Make sure to hit the bell icon. If you'd like to hire me for network consulting, visit www.mactelecomnetworks.com. If you'd like to support the channel, we have memberships available and you can join below this video. So now let's see what comes in the box with the long range ethernet repeater. We'll go over the specs and then I'll set up a few boxes of cable and see how far we could get the cable to work. And here's the box for the long range ethernet. Let's open it up. On the back, we have this pull tab. And then on the top, it says long range ethernet. Scan here to get started, which I believe it would bring you to the quick start guide. Below that, we have a mounting template with a level on it. And the next thing on top is the long range ethernet. And this looks like a bigger version of their ethernet surge. Let's open up the case. So on the one side, we have an ethernet in, and then on the other side, we have an ethernet out, which are both PoE. And then we have our grounding bracket. And then on the back, we have these little slots of where we would mount it. And on the inside, we have a couple of these ring we we're going to mount it to a pole and they also give us a bag of screw and anchors and that's all that comes in the box let's go back to the computer and look at the specs now we've seen what comes in the box let's take a look at some of the specs so it establishes long range connections between poe switches and devices you could chain other long range ethernet repeaters together for longer distances it has a one gigabit rj45 802.3 af poe poe plus input and then it has a PoE output. It does 10KA plus surge protection and it works in extreme temperatures. So minus 30 to plus 80 degrees Celsius, which is fairly warm or fairly cold. So down below, they have a little caption that says deployment tested nine daisy chained UACC LRE units connected to an endpoint device, e.g. a camera or an access point using 10 100 meter UISP cable pros. I guess that's just their box of cable and they were all powered by a Unify PoE Plus switch. For each one of these units, it's $29 USD MSRP. I was only able to grab three of these as they have a limit as to how many you could buy. For testing, I have two boxes with 300 feet of cable in it, and then I have another two boxes with 200 of cable of feet in it in both. So that will give us a total of 1,000 feet of cable, and we'll see if it could power up a G4 Bullet camera. Okay, so I have two boxes set up and they both have about 300 feet in them. We could see the white cable. That's going to be our uplink that's going to my Unify 16 Lite PoE. And then in between here, the blue cable, that's where we're going to put this Ethernet repeater. So you can see I already have a few cables in the repeater. We're going to hook it up, make sure this is getting power. And then we're going to plug in a G4 bullet into this and see if we could adopt it into our Protect controller. The Ethernet repeater is now plugged in and I can see an LED light on it. Let's plug in this G4 bullet and see if we get power on it. You can see on the bottom that the infrared lights are powering up. So let's go into my UNVR and see if we could see this camera. Now in my UNVR, we could see in the top right corner that this G4 bullet is ready to add. I'm going to add it and then we'll put another repeater in between. So this is going 600 feet, which is double the standard. We'll put another box of about 200 feet in, which will bring us up to 800 feet and see if it still works. We now have two of the Ethernet range extenders plugged in. So the cable length is 800 feet. And as you could tell, the camera is still up and working. I can move the camera around and you can see on screen that the camera is active. So now let's add the third ethernet repeater and see if we could go another 200 feet. We now have the third ethernet repeater plugged in and it is getting power. So this is going 1000 feet. I'm gonna plug in the camera and hope we get power on it. And we did get power on the camera after a thousand feet. The image is a bit distorted. That's because I haven't taken the lens cover off of this G4 bullet yet. So that's all the ethernet repeaters I have. As I said in the beginning of the video, I was only able to grab three. If I could get more in the future, I'll do another test of adding up to 10 of them. But I think this is a great new addition into the Ubiquity line. If you need to run a cable in a factory a thousand feet, it wouldn't be possible. You'd have to add another IDF room. With these Ethernet repeaters, you could just add the repeater in and then continue your data drop run. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.